for a gank that against pretty low percentage champions. Than we usually see the and yeah, we had him coming all the way down here. He's going to get in behind Tristana and Sona. He gets the flash pull on a vision versus not good. He flashes the left hand side, which lets Demon Roll run away. But first blood still here comes the pony trying to run away from this one. A lot of damage off an Inox though. Will Big Fat LP go for this one? Jumps forward with the close scuba Chris nearby. Gets the double knock up. Pops the ult as well. And here comes the ult from Big Fat LP. Does he have enough damage? Here comes Cruiser as well. So much pin coming across. But can they find enough? The Shen ult keeps scuba Chris alive for now. Big Fat LP is still taking damage. Will they get it? Nubby Poomer picks up one. And the flash has come out. Inox and Chris are still alive in the bottom lane. Demon Little picks up one on the Flappy Bearfish, but otherwise, it's just a actually happened here. We have Twitch and Dress going extremely aggressive, and then all of a sudden, Tristana jumps on your face, and it looks like they were not expecting that burst damage. Sona doing her part as well. Love the power cords, able to chase down the second one too. So, looks like Demon Little the one yet, but he wants to go now on Sona. Goes in for a bitch worse Demon Little. Great for Shadow comes across one, but Demon Little still really dropped pretty low. The Shadow comes across, keeping him alive, they do kill off Demon Lull. And the path that they're taking is just a little bit different here. We have really the early path. upgraded boots for Demon Lull. As we see the gate coming in right over the trees. And he's going to go in on this one. Demon Lull taking a bunch of punishment down onto Bearfish, but it's unstoppable is going to fall over. Bearfish pops his ult, but doesn't really want to participate. Well, Azurecats really finding themselves some openings here. The ulti coming in on an invisible switch. So, Shen, they get the slow up on Obituarist. Nothing even hits there. They're going to go for the taunt on Demon Lull. He's going to try to rock step away. Well, they have the damage they need. Flash pull in onto Obituarist. The exhaust there. There's the box as well. Here comes the teleport from Malphite. Will it be enough? They trade one for one so far. Will Demon will take enough damage on stop? Will they drop lower and lower? And look at there's Dragon as well. The Cooper is around with low mana. And it's going to chase down taunts across everyone, including Demon Lord. Demon will still not want to go down. He's getting lower, but still survive. Cooper Chris with the shadow on. Is it popping? This could be a virus fight. So burn down that dragon. It's going to be way too late for double buck. Oh, he finds two and they jump right on in. Nebby Cooper's going to explode immediately. Demon Lord gets a credit on that one. And here comes the explosion of damage. Demon jumps across while Crescendo hits three and stop. Very, very low in health. He's gonna fall over. Can Bearfish find the damage? He's supposed to flash out right there, and Cruiser is still alive while burning down as well. Can Chris do enough damage? He gets the shutdown. They've traded here, but Inox falls over. That makes it a three for two in Shadow Slash. And the KD ratio is the AD. You're seeing the blue build once again coming out. I have a question for you. See, you talk about being able to kill tanks, but I want to talk about how disruptive they can be against the AD carry. Because on one side, you got Hecra Mouth. Oh my gosh, they're just gonna go in on Inox right here, actually. They thought will be looking for the damage. Ignite is on. The Death are doing so much damage. They thought will be finds that, but it's forced to flash away. Now, can they answer back? There comes a Venom cast. A Lantern comes across as well. She's gonna pick that one up, but at the same time, Scuba Chris gets caught out. He carries here, because one side you've got... Oh, never mind, you got Malphite coming in, and that's the fatigue takes you to 80 carries. Slappy Bearfish is dead right away. Question answer, thank you very much, Azure Cats. Two for nothing, and a turret. That's exactly it. The onslaught of shadows is gonna be down for Dragon as well, so they won't have that hard to initiate. They picked it. They did pick that one up now. Demon Lull's in the middle of the enemy team. Knocks back Inox away from his turret. Inox will go down to be Cooper looks for some damage. Can he get enough? Ult comes across on a dragon, but it's not getting enough damage. Forced to Zonius, but he is very alone right now. Can he get the damage? He does find one, but he's going to fall back over. A being very close to the dragon fight. And they're going outside the dragon. He's flying. Absolutely. Double buff here. Double buff are actually invisible right here. They're going to get jumped on in the 3v2. And I just jumped on. He has to try to dash away. Here comes the teleport as well from Malphite. This could be bad unstoppable against unstoppable force. Doesn't even try it, actually. And I'm just going to get jumped. But here comes Scuba Chris. That's not going to make it a 1 versus 4. He dies for well, the other side. there's not even that so really that was a flash of a, of a and spike burn steel for an alt and not there's too much got a very very tanky like mouth right here 245 armor Oh my gosh, Scuba Chris taking a bunch of damage. Shen shows up as well. Demon Lil is safe here. Listen to the block, and here comes the team fight. Oh, so much crowd control, but Bearfish is alive for now. Now, can he do the damage? This is what it's about. He's been exhausted, flashes backwards, and the kills are really coming in here. Big Fat LP just obliterates Twitch, and everyone is dead. Good is going to be a game one win right here as he just breaks down the turrets, breaks down the Nexus. Once again, Azure Cats going up 1 0.